I'm going to show you how to build an app with App Inventor 2. And we're going to start with this, this app that's already been built where you tap a picture in MLK and hear a speech. Okay, in this one we're going to have two pictures, MLK and Malcolm X. And you can tap either one to play, play their speech. And it's going to be a little more complicated. You have to use if blocks, you know, where the app makes decisions. And, and the reason is you're going to need to know whether to start or to pause the speech uh, depending on where, where things are. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is add another button component. All right, so I'm going to go to the user interface palette and bring in a button. And this is actually going to be our picture of Malcolm, Malcolm X. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to the image property for that button. And I'm going to choose Malcolm 152 by 129. That's just an image. And I'm going to get rid of the text on that button. And now I've got, notice this picture is a little smaller than the MLK one. In fact, I've got a smaller picture for MLK as well. And so I'm going to choose and change his picture from this one to a smaller version of it. And I just used Photoshop to, to make these pictures smaller. Okay, so now I've got these two pictures. But I really want them to be side by side. So I'm going to go to Layout and choose this Horizontal Arrangement and bring it in. And I'm going to put MLK there and then I'm going to bring... Malcolm and put them to the side. So now we have them kind of left left to right. And notice there's also table arrangements, vertical arrangements. You can kind of kind of distinguish or, or set where, where all the uh, components should appear. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, I want to do a couple more things. One, these guys are named button one and button two. It's not very descriptive. And when we go over to the blocks editor, we really care about this, right? We really care which one we're dealing with. So we need to we need to distinguish. So I'm going to rename button one as the MLK button. And it's very important to rename. The way I rename is I put the component type as a suffix, this button. So I always know what kind of type I have. And then some descriptor as the start. So I'm going to call this guy Malcolm button. And that's just really set me up for when I get to the blocks editor. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I'm going to add one more image. And this is really to make things look good in, in my app. And notice it's not a button, it's an image, which means you can't touch it to do anything. All right. And in this image, I'm going to choose another picture that was kind of preloaded. And that's this picture, which has both Martin Luther King and Malcolm, Malcolm X. All right. I guess I need to change my text over here to also say Malcolm. Okay, and just, just to make things look a little better, bit better, I'm going to make that font size, say, 18 and bold. Okay, and then I'm just going to move this label here. Oops, I don't want it in the horizontal range, but I want it above. There we go. So I'm going to make the label here so they can tap to hear the speech or tap to hear uh, one of the speeches. So I could change the text. just say each speech. Okay, so we've got a pretty good thing set up here as far as the user interface is concerned. Now we've got two buttons, but we need two players. All right, so I'm going to rename Malcolm's player, which plays his speech. I'm going to rename that the Malcolm player. Or sorry, the MLK player. Yeah, let me rename that again. Here we go. I could only type, right? And then I'm going to add a new player component from the media drawer. And I'm going to call that one Malcolm Player. Okay. And just like we did with MLK, we need to associate a source file with it. And with Malcolm Player, I'm going to choose the speech that I've set up for him, MalcolmX.mp3. Okay, so we've kind of set up our user interface for this, this kind of more advanced app. And, you know, it's kind of a... a pretty common sample where you're going to have a number of pictures and when you touch those pictures play some sounds. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is show you the behavior. All right, so we've set up our user interface for our app and, and I haven't tested it yet on the companion, but let's see. Okay, so right now here's how it looks on the phone and if I touch Martin Luther King it'll play his speech, but Malcolm X doesn't have any behavior yet. So let's go to the blocks editor and we've only got this one um, event handler. And notice when I change the names in the designer, it kind of automatically changed the names for me over here in the block editor, which is nice. Okay. So I kind of need to do the same thing for Malcolm button. So I'm going to grab when Malcolm button dot click, and I'm going to want to play his his sound. 
Okay, and now I think I'll be able to touch Malcolm and play his speech. What is your real name? Malcolm, Malcolm X. Uh, and it's actually an interview of Malcolm kind of talking about the X in his name. It's very, very interesting. <laughs> 